Hello, and welcome to another Moog demo library. In today's video, we're going to be exploring Spectrovox. Spectrovox is unique in that it straddles the line between instrument and processor, and in this example, we're going to be exploring using Spectrovox to achieve physical modeling sounds. Now, typically, physical modeling is achieved digitally, and we're going to do it in the analog realm, and that means in certain ways it's less flexible, but it's also going to offer some unique tones that simulate struck percussion, things like marimbas or xylophones, things in that area. Um, and to accomplish this, we're going to be using the gate outputs to ping the filters on Spectrovox while at full resonance, and this will allow us to get a tone out of the filters. So for this example, we're going to be using Grandmother to control Spectrovox, but you can use any keyboard that has a CV gate outputs to achieve the same thing. And I'm going to begin by turning the VCA mode to on on Spectrovox. I'm going to patch the gate output of Grandmother into the trigger input. You might be asking why I'm triggering the envelope when I've just turned the envelope off, and I will show you in a moment. But we're going to then take the EG output, and we're going to patch it to the program input so we can use this gain control. And then I'm going to go ahead and patch the program output into the carrier input. Now what I've done here is I've replaced the oscillator feeding the filter bank with the envelope output, and I have the gain control to allow me to kind of increase the amplitude of that envelope. But what I want here is the rising edge of my envelope and then a soft falling edge so that I just ping the filter on the rising edge and that will kind of keep me in sync with my trigger pattern. I can also use the decay control to control a little bit of the trigger pulse that is pinging the filter. So now what we're hearing is just filter two and you'll hear if I shift the spectral shift knob around that I can tune that oscillator or that filter acting as an oscillator. So now I'm going to go ahead and I can stack extra bandpass filters on top of filter 2. And you can hear it's starting to resemble something like a marimba. Now what I can do is take the keyboard output on Grandmother, and if I feed that to the shift input, I can get the spectral shift to track a volt per octave signal. So now all of a sudden you can hear that I'm getting it to follow the arpeggiator on Grandmother. If I just go back to filter 2, you can hear I can get a really pure sine wave sound out of that. The filters are tuned not quite a fifth apart, but close to it, so you'll start getting some harmonies from them that sound quite pleasing. You can hear that using band 10, we can get a little bit of a transient out of our sound. Here we get the sound almost like you're striking wood with a mallet. And then we can use the spectral shift to offset where our pitches are happening. We can retune that sequence. I can also use the shift LFO to get a little bit of vibrato out of this signal by just turning it up ever so gently. If I adjust the gain level, you'll also hear I get more of a transient out of it. And if it's too much, you can also roll some of that back by lowering the 10 band. So as you can hear, Spectrovox offers a very unique approach to analog synthesis where you're able to achieve sounds not commonly heard generated from an analog synthesizer. 